Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London and a very impromptu video um, with the Audi R8. I've had this car for nearly 12 months now and we're just out filming living with a supercar. Yesterday you would have seen that um, I was test driving the Audi S1 for um, a first impressions video that I hope you guys all enjoyed, but also to film a comparison test between this and the S1 on usability on a daily basis. However, we have come across with a fantastic idea on whether this car has more than two seats and what we have here is a six foot four test dummy who you may remember from a couple of pranks that we did um, a, uh, uh, nearly six months ago now when I woke him up and then he decided to steal my car so I have decided that he is going to be the perfect test dummy to try and work out whether there are rear seats or even space for rear seats in the Audi R8 which is definitely strictly a two-seater six foot four uh, test dummy has already asked or requested off camera whether he can try and fit in the back and I said no So what we're gonna do now is um, Try and get four seats out of the Audi R8 whether they're usable or not is another matter Oh, so that's how far it goes forward and as you can see that's already bigger than the Nissan GTR rear space It's got some leg room. It's a leg room. Looks relatively comfortable, much more comfortable than the likes of the Aston Martin DBS. Yeah. yeah Way more comfortable than the Nissan GTR. And, and the Maseratis. Wrong. Maserati Gran Turismos have got good back seats. Much better than that. <laughs> See ya. To go around the other way, I can't sit this way. So, Can you not? No. Is it not comfortable? No, I can't go this way. This is. You go through all the emotions like this in any other supercar's back seat, trying to figure out yeah. where your legs can fit. So I'm thinking, I've got the seat belt on, safety. Safety first. We're all ready. I think, I do think the worst seats, the worst rear seats I've seen it in a car are the Aston Martin seats. When they say that it's a two plus two, they can't call them four seats, so they say two plus two. Yeah. Essentially, it means that there's two people in the front um, and two, two legless people in the back. Or two babies. Two babies, two yeah. dogs, two handbags. What else can you fit in the back of an Aston Martin seat? Probably a wallet. Yeah, a thin one. A thin one. Laptop might be too difficult, unless it's like a MacBook Air and it slides yeah. down the gap. iPad iPad. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect for iPad. Road test. Put my foot down a little bit. How are you feeling? Um, Comfortable? Yeah, yeah. Seatbelt working? Perfect. Good. And what we're going to do is just utilise these private roads that we have here. Obviously this is completely illegal on UK roads. And um, I'm just going to... Oh no. Turning circle, not that good. Better than a California. <laughs> these, I, ca these cars driving past here are on the same private road as us. Yeah. I could see there being a, a long distance issue here with my neck, but... <laughs> but short distance is fine, to the shops and back. So it would, for, let's say you cut off your feet and you became a six foot male. Yeah. Would it be more comfortable? No. No, because you wouldn't have any feet? No. I think if you're about... I reckon if you were five foot two, you quite small, walk. yeah, you'd be perfect. So there we have it. We have just created... The Audi R8 may as well be in the same category as uh, the likes of the Aston Martin DBS. The likes of the Ferrari California, two plus two. Because yeah. of, of course you're an abnormally large person or an abnormally tall person that most people, I don't know what the average height is in um, the UK, five foot 11? Two people could, two five foot 11 people could definitely fit in the back of this, just like they can definitely fit in the back of Aston Martins, GTRs and things like that. So Audi, if you're watching, the new R8 V10, V10 Plus, if it's still got the shelf and um, the rear space like this has, call it a 2 Plus 2. And I'm looking forward to seeing it on Top Gear. Well, if it still exists. 
um, when they review the rear space of the seats of the seats of the new R8 because I think that's probably the most usable tool. Right, I've got to try and get out of this now. So, all right, seat belt off. It's, it's almost the same as like me just getting out of the car like this. Yeah. So, flick that. easier than a California. I'm out. And you don't lose your dignity either. No, no, no. So, all round, I'm gonna pull the camera back here. I think we've just found something really quite interesting on a day of filming, that the Audi R8 has actually got rear room for a human being with a seat belt that works. And I wasn't expecting that after 11 months of having the car. I'd only ever had two people in the car at maximum. But now I know that for long trips such as Monaco, it might not be so good, but trips into London could potentially have two car spotters in the car. I hope you've enjoyed our discovery on the R8. And as you can see, I'm still learning as I uh, drive this car. And um, I think that was a relatively successful video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe. If you're a new viewer, I hope you've enjoyed, and uh, there's more stuff on Supercars of London coming very, very soon. And um, yeah, give it a like if you like it, and um, also look forward to your comments in the comment box below. Cheers, guys, take care. Look forward to seeing you on the weekend. There's gonna be car events. Car Throttle have their first event at Ace Cafe this Saturday at 6 p.m., which I'm really looking forward to bringing this car down to. So I'll see you very soon. Take care, guys. Yeah. <laughs>